option to create different types of custom fields. These are going to be fields that you will need to capture the appropriate metadata to track your sample successfully throughout the lab. In this video, we are going to talk about derived sample custom fields in a standard pooling or add label step. These are going to be your steps where the samples are plated and a derived sample or daughter sample is generated. Therefore, there is now an output sample. In this specific example, we will be using a standard step, which encompasses the same custom field functionality as pooling and add labels. I am going to use a field that already exists. In this example, we are going to confirm the field PCR cycles is configured properly. To do this, we are going to open the configuration tab, click on custom fields, Go to Derived Samples and we can expand it by clicking the arrow. And the easiest way to see if a field is already created is to do a find and then search for the field name. PCR Cycles does exist in this system. To get more information on it, we can click into the field and see that there are zero decimal places displayed. It is not required and it is not read only. This all looks good to me. So to add this field to my step, I'm going to click on lab work. Then I'm going to click into my step and click record details because that is where I would like the step to be shown. Underneath table columns, I'm going to click the blue plus and expand out derived samples. I'm going to use the search again to find my field. Click the field name, then click the blue check, and drag and drop the field in the order you would like to see it on the screen. Then scroll up and click save. Now we're going to go back to the lab view and start the standard step v1.0. We will need to plate these samples. And then enter record details. We can see that our PCR cycles field is displayed. One thing I would like to point out here is that unlike the QC steps where there are two lines per sample, here, there is only one line per sample. This will be the same in steps that are configured to be pooling, standard, or add labels. And since this was a placement step, that is going to create a derived sample or a daughter sample. So the value that we plug into PCR cycles is going to be set on the output sample. While in the no output video, there were no daughter samples created, so the field was set to the input sample. 